And in order to promote motorcycle safety, locals hosted a truck or treat memorial to honor those who have recently died due to motorcycle accidents. I had the opportunity to visit the event and talk to the host on why she decided to put the event together. Holly Jennings is just one of the people who has been impacted from losing someone they loved from a motorcycle accident. I lost my fiance um, back in June, June 8th. Um, it's his memorial right out here. Um, to, of course, a motorcycle accident. Which inspired Jennings to host a Trunk or Treat Memorial to honor not just her fiance's life, but other lives that have been lost to motorcycle accidents. And what is better than a Trunk or Treat to let the community dress up in costumes and come together to support those lives lost? A lot more people showed up than I expected. I was just expecting something small. Um, apparently, that didn't happen. But all these people knew Lance in one way or another, and he made a big impact on people's lives. So Families showing up to support the memorial and participate in the trunk or treat. What are you dressed as today? Elsa. Elsa. That's so pretty. I love it. Why do you pick Elsa? Because um, I love Elsa. And um, she, she um, is pretty because she wears a, a cute outfit. Now, what's been your favorite part of the trunk or treat? Hearing the motorcycle. Hearing the motorcycles and getting to do it. Uh-huh. And getting candy. For a cause like motorcycle awareness, this shows the community the importance of roadway safety. We all lose our lives because people are pulling out in front of them, not fully aware of what they're able to do. Motorcycles can't stop on a dime like cars can. Reporting in St. Joseph, Alexis Kuhner, KQ2 News. Well, Alexis, that is a great cause to gather the community for. For more information on this story, be sure to visit our website, kq2.com, for more details.